Hey guys, today's video is a highly requested video on how to customize your lace frontal wig step by step. I often get questions on how do you customize a frontal for beginners or I often hear, well, I don't know how to customize a frontal. I'm new to this whole wig game. So I got you, sis. I got you. We about to slay this wig, okay? <laughs> so the wig that I'm using today is from Hair Spells and this is pretty much what the frontal looks like before doing any type of plucking. Now, I did go ahead and um, tint the lace. I do have a full tutorial below on how I do that. So as you can see, this unit comes with dips on the frontal, which is a really good thing. It helps with making the frontal look natural. And it's also an easy guide on the plucking as well. And I did wet the hair because to me, it just helps with seeing the hairline better. And I honestly think the hair comes out of the frontal a lot better when the hair is wet. So you want to make sure you have a good pair of tweezers. I got mine from Sally's and I think I paid around 18 bucks. Um, you can definitely find some that's a little bit more cheaper than that but the better your front your um, tweezers are the easier it's going to be when it comes to plucking out the hairs on your frontal so the first thing we're going to do is just work our way in sections so I'm starting off with what I would call like the sideburn area so I'm just taking my tweezers and I'm going behind the hairline and it's so important to make sure you tweeze behind the hairline to avoid plucking too much and causing the hair to look bald. Um, so when you're doing this guys, it is a process. It's gonna seem like no hair is coming out, but actually hair is coming out if you're removing the hair properly. Also, when you are doing this, try to be gentle because you definitely can um, rip the lace and you don't wanna do that. It's gonna look horrible if you do that. And then one thing that I do like about this particular wig is the density around the hairline is not too thick so it's easy to pluck the hairline because it's not a whole lot of hair to be plucking just to make sure I don't over pluck I like to part my hair on the side and then start plucking behind that section that I parted off so I'm just going to continue this method with parting the hair down the side and then plucking behind the hairline, making sure that I move around the hairline just to avoid possibly over plucking. So I will just continue doing this parting and then plucking behind the hairline method until I get to the front of the frontal. As you can see, the front of this frontal is like, I would say, sectioned off. So you can really identify that it's the front of the hairline. Um, and the front of this hairline is already kind of thin. So I don't want to over pluck the front of this wig. So I'm going to start off by sectioning the baby hairs out first before doing any plucking so I can see exactly how the hairline is looking. Um, just because the front of the frontals are more dense than the sides of the frontal. So I'm using that same method going behind the hairline and just plucking until I get that look that I'm going for. After plucking the hairline, it is possible to lose some baby hairs. If you like baby hairs, you can just, you know, recreate your own. Only thing you do is section out the hair, use a razor comb, and cut the baby hairs going down at an angle. Use some hair gel or some mousse, use a little bit, and just swoop the hair in. You can also do this by just using water as well. And this is also how I check my work, just to make sure I did not over pluck. And as you can see, it looks pretty good. Uh, the baby hairs are laying really nice, and it's not too thin and not too full behind the hairline. So this is what the hairline is looking like without any baby hairs. Mm -hmm. 
now let's put the wig on i did cut the lace off camera only thing i did was follow the outline of the frontal those little dips i was telling you guys about just follow that and cut out the lace a hot comb is a major key to a natural looking frontal it is way better than using a curling iron or a curling wand to press out the hair simply because that hot comb will get every strand of your roots um, I did not bleach this frontal. Only thing I did was use the Sally Hansen leg makeup. If you want to see a full tutorial on how I did that, I'll have that video link below. Next, I'm going to do my baby hairs on my head. Everybody should know by now I love me some baby hairs. So if you don't like it, oh well. Um, so doing baby hairs on a mannequin head is super duper easy, but doing it on yourself can be very challenging. So with that being said, take your razor comb, section out the hair as we did before, and start to play around with the baby hairs. Take your little bit of gel, mousse, or water, not a whole lot, just a little bit, and just start playing with the hairs. Even though I have done baby hairs like over a thousand times, <laughs> I still can never get it right the first time. It takes me like five or six tries for me to get my baby hairs to look the way i want it to look so just keep that in mind guys just keep practicing and you know not using a whole lot of gel because it will stiffen up the baby hairs so this is what the side of my frontal is looking like when the gel is completely dry and i'm going to add a little bit of foundation to the hairline behind the baby hairs just to hide a little bit of my stocking cap that's showing on the side as well as just to make it look more like scalp to the side so just take your finger and kind of smooth it out and i'm just showing you guys it's not glued down so yeah this is pretty much how the frontal should look like if you decide to do baby hairs even if you don't do baby hairs your frontal should still look good if you follow these simple basic steps that i have provided in this video hope you guys learned something in this video if you want to purchase this wig definitely check out the link below bye guys